I start off extremely tiny and grow bigger and bigger every day until I'm a massive giant. This completely changes Minecraft, making some things easier and other things not so much. My goodness, I'm absolutely tiny and I don't even know how I'm going to get down from this tree. I suppose I'll start by mining some wood, which sadly went all the way down there. And I, I can't reach that up there. I'll get this one instead and bridge my way to that water. This is actually going to be way harder than I first thought. That's another log. And four more planks, and I can bridge to the next tree. This would have been so much easier if- I, Are you kidding me again? But yeah, this would have been way easier if I didn't start in a tree. I missed that piece as well. Thankfully, I can grab this log and continue bridging. Thank goodness there's another one here I can grab. In fact, make that three more that I can grab. But will it be enough? I really hope so. In fact, I've got a plan. If I make a crafting table and then craft slabs and lose my crafting table down there, great. It should increase my chances of making it. But alas, I'm, I'm still short in more ways than one. Oh no, it's going dark. This is going bad. I think I'm just going to best hiding here till the morning and hopefully I'll, I'll grow a little bit bigger. The sun is starting to rise. And I'm bigger. Okay, I am a little bit bigger, but am I big enough to reach it? Just, it's going to take a long time, but I'm making slow, slow progress. Thank goodness, mission accomplished. Thought I was going to be trapped in these trees forever. Still not sure I'll make it, but after breaking one more log, I can now 100% make it. I thought I'd never get out of them trees. I'm now desperate for food, but I have a plan. And that plan involves very slowly going to the boat. Speaking of boats, I could have used a boat to get out of them trees. Ah well, what's done is done. Look at those guys. Remind me not to get out of the water till the morning. I've made it. And it's got me plenty of iron and emeralds. Plus in the chest through here, I've got food. Fantastic. I really, really need all of this. The boat is also a very easy source of wood, which is great because it means I don't have to try and mine up loads of trees. And if I make a crafting table, I can get some tools crafted, which will really speed things up. And what have we got here? A treasure map. Fantastic. Apparently, I'm, I'm even too small to place a boat. So instead, I'm swimming there. According to the X, I'm pretty sure it is in this direction. Just gotta make sure I don't get squashed by any sand. Found it. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. I think it's pretty essential that I craft a bucket so that I can get around much, much easier. And so my next project is to try and find some sheep. Hopefully, that won't be too difficult. Uh-oh. I want to avoid him, that's for sure. One shot from his arrows and I'm in big trouble. Because I'm tiny, a mob's attacks will do more damage to me. And I'll gain more health as I get bigger and bigger. But for now, I only have two hearts. Ah, I found them. This guy does stand in my way. I'm going to make myself some shears and slowly sneak my way around. I think I'm doing it, okay? Don't miss the MLG now, SB. Sheep, be sheared. No, I missed. Okay, we're all right. Now don't panic, there's nothing nearby. A village. It might be an abandoned, infected village, but it's still a great find. Can I reach it? There we go. Come on, give me three. Two. Okay, one more sheep. I've got it. So I can make a bed and I can sleep. Oh no, never mind, I can't. Because any moment now, I am going to get a little bit taller. There we go. That, that was it. It was, it was the tiniest amount ever. I'm still not tall enough to use a boat, so more swimming it is. I've successfully made it, but is there any food? Looks like the answer is yes. Yes, there is. In fact, there's quite a lot of it. So much so that I'm going to make some sticks and craft a trusty hoe. That should really speed things up. And oh my goodness, thrown items are tiny. Look at how small the emerald is. But then look at how big it something is when I mine it. That's, that's really weird. But also very, very cool at the same time. I'll just grab these final bits and then I can get some sleep. Look at that. We've got a blacksmith and hopefully it's some very good loot. I'll take it. That's not bad at all. And whilst I've got a moment, I might as well just make a bit of extra armor too. Just to be a little bit more kitted out. That was, that was the scariest thing I've ever done. I did not realize he was going to be there as soon as I broke that. But that's the problem with being small. It's, it's very hard to see everything. Now then, is there a saddle in here? There's the chest. I've just got to stay far away enough from you. And oh, there is perfect. See you later, buddy. Enjoy the cobweb. Now the question is, can I tame a horse? I think the main challenge will be to do this. Oh my, stop it, SP. As I was saying, the main challenge will be to do this without taking fall damage. Which I'm pretty sure should be possible with a setup like this. Now then, horse, be tamed. The plan actually works perfectly, as you can see, it puts me on the side every time. I managed to tame it in time, but equipping the saddle is really hard because it, it keeps knocking me off. It, it, I think maybe I need to get rid of the water. There we go. Now then. Oh, hey, it doesn't suddenly seem so bad after all. I can't see much, but I can get around much, much better. Look at that, I even found a ruined portal with... Ah, flint and steel, nice. And feather falling's got to be useful because I take fall damage every time I go down a block. All right, horse, let's continue exploring. And whilst I do, I am so, so close to 4 million subscribers. So if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe.
I've found another village, but realistically, other than food, I don't really see much use for it. I reckon my priority right now should be to go mining. So once I find a good cave, I will be abandoning my horse. Well, uh, temporarily anyway. This looks like a good spot to me. So I'm going in. Having a horse with me it would just make it too hard. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that was scary. Yeah, whilst the horse is faster, it probably doesn't do well in caves. It's a bit too cramped. But my goodness, I have no idea how I am still alive. Great to see that this cave goes very, very deep. And hopefully deep enough to find diamonds. Also, as I've got more and more mobs coming back, I'm just I'm just going to go in here. All right, he can't follow me. But yeah, as the mobs increase, it's probably going to be a good idea to get a shield. But that does mean successfully finding iron. This place looks great. There's iron up there. Just got to try and work out how to get to it. This is very precarious indeed, and I do not advise that you try this yourself. But against the odds, the plan is kind of working. Oh, not anymore. There we go. I'm now high enough. Can grab a bit of iron, make a furnace, and then get it smelting. I'll certainly feel a lot safer now that I've got a shield. No matter how tiny it is. I think to get the rest of the iron, my best option is to mine around. And do a little bit of bridging as well. That seems to be mission accomplished. And so now, I can continue exploring this cave. And hopefully I actually find those diamonds. Over there's a little bit of lapis, but that's not really what I want. But look how far down that goes. I really hope there's something good at the bottom of here. And I've come... And surely there's got to be. It can't have all been for nothing. It just can't have been. But it was. It was all one big waste of time. Actually, it wasn't that bad because it led me to some iron. And I've got this area to explore, which is a massive underwater cave. Good job I found water breathing. Because that just has to be diamonds down here. Ah! They've been spotted. And the water breathing has actually been so, so helpful. I'd probably be dead without it. Is it just one? No, it's at least two, which is a very good start. And there's more just over here, literally right next to him. Perfect. Just because I'm tiny, it doesn't mean I can't have a successful... Whoa! Okay, you know what? Oh, where, where are we? What? As we're saying, it doesn't mean I can't have a successful mining journey. And I need to make sure I get these diamonds that floated all the way to the top. Now, I think... Oh, look at this cave. It looks great. But I think I saw some down there. Yes, I did. Okay, that's where we're going next. Although I have got to be careful because I've only got 20 seconds of water breathing left. And now I've got zero seconds. So I'll do a quick bit of mining and then hopefully swim up as fast as I can. Okay, we've got loads of time. We're all right. And with these eight diamonds, I could upgrade to a chest plate. Looking pretty good, but not good enough. I'm going to continue exploring. Excellent. Okay, hold on. Don't drown us, Pete. Not like this. Quick. <gasps> Half a heart. That was very, very close indeed. But it's actually a fantastic way to get loads of air. And apparently if I go at the top of blocks, I can breathe here as well. Okay, that's good to know. Being tiny does have the odd perk, I guess. And I've got just a little bit bigger, which has sped me up a bit. Plus gained an extra heart. There's also diamonds everywhere around here. Just, just look at it. It's absolutely brilliant. Now then, how many diamonds does I get? Seven. That's fantastic. Oh, don't, don't, don't drown out. <laughs> Not when you've come this close. Flipping heck. I'm just a liability down here, aren't I? But the reason I was excited about that is I can get some leggings now, which is great. And I'll just continue exploring. I don't really need it as much now, but it's always good to grab a little bit of iron whenever you see it. At this point, I I'm just going to dig down. I think I explored all of the water and I'm just kind of sick. Oh, whoop. Okay, I didn't expect that. But yeah, I would just get... Oh my goodness, we got diamonds. As I was trying to say, I was sick of almost drowning nonstop. So it's nice to return to some sort of normality. Oh my goodness, another one over there? Now then, can I jump in that water? I don't think so. Let's be more careful and be slow and steady. It's not a race. And considering I've lasted 10 days and probably got past the hard part, there's no point taking any unnecessary risks. He says as he almost gets taken out by that guy. Apparently I missed one over there. Okay, well, that's good to know. And battling you guys is a nightmare. Oh my, this, this, is, this is a sticky situation, guys. There we go. We're on a roll. The shield is definitely the savior. Is it just one? Why is it always just one? Oh, no, wait, it was two. A little bit of digging around showed that. And at this point, I'm going to use these to make a diamond pickaxe. Just as a nice little upgrade. I've decided that I'm only going to leave the cave when I get to full diamond armor. So that means tracking down eight more diamonds. Hopefully, that isn't too tricky. Look at this. I can get straight through this gap, no problem. And realistically, I reckon strip mining is going to be my best bet. Stumbled across a mine shaft. Anything good? Come on, be down. Okay, well, bread, I'll take it. But there are better things I want to find, which is not those creepers. No, yeah, there could be diamonds here, though. It might be a good idea to search just... Yeah, look at it, it opens up. Ah, there was! Okay, fantastic. Seriously, when you're tiny, every caving journey just seems like a massive expedition. But that is now two down... Seven to go. As cool as this cave looks, it is sadly the one I've already been in. But I don't think it'll work. Okay, be careful here. I was going to say, I don't think I've explored the area down here. Could be good reason for that, though, because it, it seems very, very dangerous. All right, apparently I have been here. Never mind. So strip mining it is. Come to another cave. But unfortunately, it wasn't a very good one. Oh, I'll, whoa, whoa, look at this. I take it all back. We found some diamonds. <gasps> no! Oh, that's sad. That's very, very sad. But thankfully, 
There's some more hidden behind. Okay, well, that's that's at least a slight bonus. Oh, no, I burned another one. SP, stop burning your diamonds. I am such an idiot. Oh, well, that's a waste of two diamonds. What a shame. Could have had six. I've only got four. I still need another five. It's yet another cave and yet more diamonds. And this time, I'm going to make sure that I don't burn them. There was some hidden behind. That's awesome. And that means I only need two more. If I hadn't have burnt those other two, I'd have been fine. But oh, well, I can't keep living in the past. We all make mistakes. And good news, I'm now tall enough. Where I don't take fall damage if I walk off a block. So that is very good news indeed. Oh, whoa, whoa. You know what? I think I'm just going to go back down this way and go back to strip mining. Sometimes I feel like a terrified little mouse. That was very, very close. I should probably be a little bit more careful. And finally, I have found some. Is it just two? I feel like I've been mining for ages. Yeah, it was, but not to worry because that is actually all I needed. To now have full diamond... Armor. Fantastic, and now I can try and dig my way out of here. Just might be a little bit of a challenge. I also seem to have gained an extra heart since I got to this size, which is very, very nice. And very, very necessary too. And look at that, I've mined into a lush cave. A lush cave with plenty of iron. Plenty of iron that I don't need and that I'm not really going to bother with. Well, except for this one right here, since it, it looks right for the taking. And this one okay as well. But no more. Oh my goodness, there's a diamond here. What? There's two. What a very cool place to find diamonds indeed. And then this guy thinks he can ruin my day. Well, he can't because I'm going to continue to dig out of here. And it looks like I've made it out. Thank goodness, finally. Right, now I need to try and find my horse. Thankfully, I do have the coordinates and it's somewhere in this direction. And all in all, that was a very successful mining journey. And if I'm not mistaken, my horse should be just over... Oh, uh, it should just be over this hill. Yes, there he is. Okay, well, we've made a good successful journey. All right, horse, we've got exploring to do. Let's... Let's get busy. My main goal is to try and find another village. I think once I'm tall enough, <laughs> which I will be one day, to jump over one block, then I'll be able to get around the nether. Before then, it's just going to be really hard work since water buckets can't be used in the nether. Now, hang on a minute. I, I can't see past your big neck. So instead, I'll just ride a little bit further. There we go. I have found a village and it's a big one. Wouldn't it be great if there was a blacksmith with an extra diamond in it? But it doesn't look like that's the case. Not to worry though. I'm just going to make a nice little area that my horse can live in. And then I'm going to gather up every single hay bale. Next, I need to speak to an unsuspecting farmer. Don't worry. Here I've got three. But apparently none of them can be scammed with all the wheat I want to sell to them. I reckon that down there could be useful because eventually I want an anvil. Oh dear. Cat, why have you fallen down here with me? Ah, oh, well, you know what? You're on your own. I'm here to collect iron. I don't want to be distracted. And the problem with gradually getting bigger every day is you kind of feel like from day to day, you're just staying the same size. But hey, I'm six foot, so it's about time I learn what it's like to be small. All I can say is I'm looking forward to the day when I become a giant. Looks like this time he's willing to buy some wheat. So I've got to get rid of a load of this junk and give it all to him. And I've decided that I actually don't fancy waiting until I get bigger to go to the nether. Instead, I'm going to jump on my horse and go searching for lava. Aha! Well, I didn't expect to find it in a cave like that, but I have found it. You can stay here. I'll be back in, in probably about 20 days. And I am going to attempt to build a nether portal as a tiny person. I'm fairly confident that it can't be that hard. And by the looks of things, I was right. And I am also going to spend a little bit of time collecting up obsidian. Then if I get lost in the nether, I don't have to go all the way back to my portal. I can just make a new one anytime I need to. That's 10 pieces, which is definitely enough. So to the nether... I will go. And the real question is, can I yet use boats? Oh, I can. Okay, well, that's that's kind of good to know. The other thing I think I'll need a lot of is slabs because I can use those to get over the difficult gaps. I have to say, this is quite a bit more of a dangerous place than I thought it was going to be. There's lava everywhere. I can't take any fall damage. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really careful. If only I'd wait a little bit longer until I was a bit bigger. I also don't want any trouble with piglins, so I'm going to make myself a gold helmet. Then they won't attack me. I don't have to run from them. I think that is a very wise thing to do indeed. I'm also going to try and strip mine around where I can so that I don't have to keep using slabs to go up and down terrain. I have come to a bit of an opening and there seems to be a way out up there. But getting up there is, is going to take quite a lot of slabs. And it's also going to take quite a bit of luck that, that nothing else sees me. Well, I seem to have made it safely. Now I'm looking for a fortress or a bastion. There is a few endermen down there. Yeah, you know what? I could start collecting pearls. Why not? That's why I always say, just don't fall in the lava. Then make sure to get them in the boat. And, and there'll be no trouble at- Okay, well, as I was saying, there'll be no trouble at all, but they seem to be able to reach me, so but maybe this is an issue. Said it's shield hit, shield hit. Yeah, that's the way. Don't know why everything has to be so much more complicated when you're small. But that is one pearl down, 11 more to go. And I suppose now I don't really care about taking an enderman because I found a bastion. Could be quite the disastrous bastion because they're, they're dangerous enough at normal size. No idea how I'm going to tackle them when I'm really, really small. It is a stables one, which means there could be any, any amount of gold around here. 
let's have a look. Okay, this is... Hi, guys. Uh, but there is gold all the way at the bottom. It's times like these that I really, really hope I don't run into any brutes. Oh, well, that's that spoiled. There's, there's literally one right there. I, maybe I'll just stay in the walls. <gasps> Half a heart. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they, he is dangerous. And I don't know if I can reach... Oh, you weren't meant to go in there. Okay, well, I, I suppose it's not the worst thing in the world. He can't reach me. I can reach him. Okay, fantastic. Please don't come down, piglins. This is, this is such a dangerous situation to be... Just stay there. There we go. Got rid of him. Perfect. You guys enjoy a bunch of gold. And I'm going to keep mining for even more. Soul Speed 3. You know what? That's not bad. Although I have to say, everything else you've given me is, is, <laughs> is kind of rubbish. Two more Ender Pearls after all that gold. Are you kidding me, guys? That's, that's a pretty poor performance. Maybe in the rest of the Bastion, <laughs> I'll be able to find more gold. I'm not sure. Is the gold, I think, down here... Yeah, it's just a chest, unfortunately. Well, I don't think there's any point staying in this bastion any longer than I need to. I've got everything that I was hoping to get. Now all I need is a load more ender pearls. And because the days keep increasing and I'm a little bit taller, I can now reach the endermen without them being able to reach me. Which is without a doubt very, very useful. And that is 14 ender pearls. So my next goal is to now find a fortress. I'm hoping that that won't be too difficult. I'm almost now almost too tall to fit through a one block gap. So I'll just have to enjoy that luxury whilst I still can. And some other good news is that I seem to get an extra heart when it turns to day 25. Which I have to say is very, very handy indeed. Look at that. Hot tourist destinations. And that means I've definitely spent way too much time trying to find a fortress. Aha! Finally, mission accomplished. And now I'm going to see if I can find an extra diamond for a diamond axe. I'm not going to get my hopes up too much, but yeah, you just never know. Oh, well, we got gold. Not what I wanted, but still better than nothing. Steps are still kind of annoying because I, I can't just walk up them. I'll be glad when I'm even taller. I also didn't find any diamonds. I literally only found one chest. So instead, I'm going to concentrate on the blazes. And apparently my gold helmet just broke. Good job. I have a diamond one ready. That's blaze rod number one. Should also be careful. I don't have that much health. I'm glad I've got this fire resistance because my shield is also now broken. And oh, they're getting a little bit, a little bit scary. And now my axe is broken as well. This is all going wrong. I do have quite a bit of raw iron. I suppose that could come in handy. And you know what? I'm going to use these diamonds to make a diamond sword. Since it's a very, very useful weapon. That's eight blade rods. I don't think I need any more. So I'm going to craft a new axe, build a portal, and get out of here. Subspace bubble. and <laughs> not bad. Village up ahead. Might be something useful. I'd also like to make some eyes of ender just to get an idea of which... Okay, well, it's in that direction. As I was saying, I used it just to get an idea of where the stronghold is because that is where we're going next. Or at least it will be once I've checked out this village. And even better, it isn't just a village. It's a desert pyramid too. Okay, can I fit through? There we go. I have to crouch through one block gaps. I'm growing bigger and bigger all the time. Anyway, let's sit. Yes, we got two diamonds. That's a great start. And string is going to be handy because I'm probably going to need about three diamonds. Let's go and a golden apple. This is a very, very nice place indeed. I suppose I might as well ransack the village. I am kind of starting to run out of inventory space, to be honest. But I'll just fit in whatever I can. I can make a little bit of space just by crafting a bow and a new axe, as well as smelting the rest of my iron. At this point, I reckon I'm ready as I'll ever be. I, I'm still not tall enough to jump over a block, but I reckon that it is time I went after the Ender Dragon. Whilst, of course, grabbing sugarcane on the way so that I can make more paper for firework rockets. I just went to sleep, and whilst I was, look what I spotted. There's a dungeon hidden in here. It doesn't really blend in very well due to the, uh, the Mesa terracotta all around it. But let's break the spawner. And oh my goodness, look at all that gunpowder. That is going to be insane for firework rockets. That's... That's the best chest I've ever found. I'm guessing this place was once home to a family of creepers or something. From what I can tell, it is somewhere in this jungle. It's just a bit of a nightmare to find. Although there is a bit of an open area here. Maybe I can use the eyes of Ender a bit better. So I've thrown that one. Okay, so it's back that way. Meaning it is very, very close. Right about here to be precise. Yeah, look at that. Judged it well. So I'll carefully dig down and get straight to it. My first priority will now be to find the portal room. But hey, bookcases are also very handy. Largely due to all the paper you can get from them. Although not not this one, you get other stuff. I really need to clear out some space in my inventory. Or craft an ender chest. That could definitely be quite a clever idea. And here's the chest that I was talking about that would have loads of paper. It's times like this that I wish that I had silk touch, but unfortunately I don't. But maybe I can get it a little bit further down the line. I can hear silverfish, I just can't see them. Oh, I can see them. Although I don't plan them to see them for much longer. Hopefully I've got enough eyes. I'm just starting to have a look and I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used one of making an ender chest. Now I've got to try and find a stupid enderman. Although creepers are pretty handy thing to find as well. Well, they are if they drop gunpowder anyway. Bookcase room number two, complete with lots more paper and some pretty decent books. There is an exit here that does go into a bit of a cave. Hopefully a cave with Enderman. Oh, it's a massive one, a massive lush cave and dripstone cave. I just hope I survive the area and live to tell the tale. Aha, an Enderman, a place. First of all, 
What are you doing? Uh, you know, I'm just not going to ask. And second of all, please, please, can you drop me an ender pearl? I need this more than anything. Are you kidding me? I had a 50-50 chance and of course it, it didn't work out for poor old SB. This is definitely a very, very epic game. Oh my god. Okay, I, what have I just done? Don't jump after me, I'm stuck in a hole. And I'm stuck in more lava. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just swim out of here. Where on earth are those stupid endermen? Although on the positive side, at least I found some diamonds. And there's at least four of them, which is, yeah, yeah, four perfect. Very, very nice. Oh, look at that, a slime there, pretty rare. And an enderman. Okay, things are coming together as long as I don't die. <laughs> still not tall enough to jump over one block. What is, oh my goodness. Kind of forget that I am still small and I don't have much health. Let's just get this enderman in a boat. Craft more slabs to make my life easier. And hopefully, oh my, get away. But yeah, hopefully... Get an ender pearl, thank goodness. What the heck, he's stolen my bot. I ain't leaving without it. Thank you. Give that back. And now I've got to try and remember where the stronghold is. Probably easier said than done, but in the meantime, I've got not one diamond, but two diamonds to get. In fact, make that three. Turns out it's quite a few of it. Well, there's, there's more than that. So I've got eight altogether now, which is great if my pickaxe breaks. And I believe to get to the stronghold, I need to make my way through this area. Aha, yeah, this is the place where I fell down, so I, I know I'm on the right track. Well, there's a little bit of mossy stone bricks here, which is good news. I think I'm just going to try and dig my way in. That's a case of following the trail that I've already been on, completing the portal, get a bit of sleep, and head to the end. All right, Ender Dragon, I might be a lot smaller than usual, but don't let that deceive you, because I'm still going to defeat you with absolutely no problem at all. I can't tower up because I'm too small, and I can't really see the tops of those other ones. So once I get rid of these through the iron bars, I'm going to slowly water my way up, and hopefully not die. There we go. Another one down. I'm a little bit far to reach those ones, so I'm just going to go back to the floor and work my way up this one instead. All right. All towers are gone. So let's finish the job. I always like it when I get take aim when I'm battling the Ender Dragon. It's like, really? I didn't use a bow and arrow up until this point? And don't tell me I'm too small to reach the Ender Dragon. Okay, this is not good. Suddenly, the battle has got way, way harder. I have no idea how I can't... Oh, okay. This is bad. Oh, yeah. I have no idea how I'm going to hit it. I'm going to have to try and find a way with... I thought they were after me then. As I was saying, I'm going to have to try and find a way using slabs. Because I only have 24 arrows left, which is not going to be enough to take you down. Actually, I've got a plan B. First, get an ender pearl. Then forget about plan B because you realise you've got plan C. Just stand on a bridge right in front of the dragon and take it out that way. Whoa, okay, that was not fully thought through. But it does work. The reason I was getting an ender pearl was so that I could make an ender chest. Am I going to get hit by this dragon's breath? Yes, I am. There we go, just stand on there. And then I was going to use my furnace inside the ender chest to smelt my iron. Can I not reach you now? What is going on? You're an absolute pain to battle. I, I really hope you know that. So instead, it's time for plan D. Blow it up with beds. Although I only had one of those, so that's, that's also a bit, of, a bit of a problem. 17 arrows. And it has just changed to day 39, which means I've grown a little bit. Can, can I reach you now? I can reach you! Yeah, that's right! You better run! Because by growing a tiny little extra inch, the tables have now turned. Oh, this feels so good. Come on! I'm so close to defeating it! Please! Come on! No one hit! You're not gonna get away with this! That's right! You can't escape! The mission has been accomplished! And I'm now tall enough to be able to jump over one block. No, don't ruin this for me, Enderman. As I was saying, I can now jump over one block, which means I can do this. Yes. So it will definitely make everything much, much easier. Since I no longer have to use slabs absolutely everywhere I go. A little extra obsidian might just come in handy. And now I'm heading on through to hopefully find a density. Also, I couldn't be to bridge all the way across there, which is, is why I threw an ender pearl. Finally, one has successfully been spotted. Just a shame that I have a... Okay, why am I speed bridging? But just a shame that I have a massive gap to, oh, uh, to try and get across. And not really enough blocks left to do it. I think I have no choice but to mine a bit of endstone. Endstone, which you should turn into endstone bricks, and then you turn those into slabs. That way, you get twice as much to bridge with. Although, even so, it, it still isn't quite enough. Thankfully, I can just see my friend, the Enderman, who will happily refuse to give me a pearl. What's that all about? Hopefully, you're a little bit more cooperative. Yes, you indeed were. And I can make it all the way across the gap. Don't know why I jumped in the void there as well. A little, a little over, over the top. I think I was just trying to be a bit more dramatic. So by the looks of things, it's a pretty big end city, which is good. It has the end ship, which has the elytra, which is going to make my life so, so much easier. It'll be absolutely fantastic. Well, it will be when I get there. I didn't realise there was an entire another void to get across. My goodness, now I'm going to need even more end stone. Well, I've almost successfully made it across. Have I got any blocks I could cobble? I, I could, well, I could literally use cobblestone. That's something to quick cobble together. I think I should just get an ender pearl. Because I'm telling you now, I'm sure these endermen don't mind, alright? They're, they're quite happy to supply him with an ender pearl, aren't you, buddy? Oh, what? No, no, you're not. Okay, he's kind of angry. Let's uh, let's just get rid of him. And he didn't give me one. Very stingy, too. What about you? Get in the boat. I said get in the boat. What's that all about? You're not supposed to be able to just walk straight over it. 
Get in it. Oh, he did it again. This Enderman is going to be the death of me if he don't go in. There we go. Thank goodness for that. At least one of you better give me a pearl because there's been a lot of trouble. Nope, that's three Endermen. Nothing. I'm getting terrible, uh, terrible odds. No kidding. I've just done six Endermen in a row. I, I could have... This is going to be the biggest unluckiest streak ever if this one doesn't drop. What? Come on, guys. There's more chance of me getting four million subscribers and not getting that one. There we go. We've managed to get it. And I tell you what, now I'm getting close. There's another End City as well. Very, very nice indeed. I can actually fly to that one, which makes it easier. It'll be absolutely fantastic when I get some shulker shells, won't it? Since it'll make item storage so so much. Don't float me away. In fact, do float me away. I, I can make it to this end ship. Come on, guys. Please keep shooting me. Can I make it? Please, please tell me I can make it. Can I make it? I can't. Oh my goodness, that was very close. I thought it wasn't. But you are going to be the shulker that gives me a shulker shell. At least I hope. Okay, maybe not. Doesn't matter because I have a lightra and I have gold. Okay, that's rubbish gear in there. Oh, that's not so rubbish. I'm breaking three, prop four. Fantastic. I am going to already put a new helmet on. I'm also going to craft plenty of fire rockets and continue looting, which is now 10 times easier. I'm gonna leave those leggings behind. I don't want cursor binding. Anything you... Oh, I need that furnace. Actually, I probably don't. I'm going to find more iron in the end city, so I'll leave it there. A new diamond pickaxe would be fantastic. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. That's absolutely perfect. We've got the iron I need as well. I told you. Call it. Well, I've definitely called it. I mean, realistically, I did want a silk touch one, but I will still accept a fortune three. That's pretty good. The leggings are okay. They're better than what I have at the moment, as is the chest plate. Again, okay. But not insane. Now, what can be offered at this little end city over here? Just two chests. But I tell you, two chests is better than no chests. And I can just continue searching the land. And I have also got an unbreaking book, which I would like to put on my elytra. I think it'll be a wise idea. Which is why the iron is handy. I can now make an anvil. There we go. Lovely little upgrade. It's a little unfortunate that when I mine it, I only get obsidian back. But once I get silt touch, I'll be able to get loads more ender chests because end cities have them in pretty much all of them. Here we have another one. And I could get another Elytra. Always nice to have as a backup. And apparently there's no other loot in the entire place. That is that is a massive letdown. Instead, the search continues to there and to there. Actually, not to there. That also has no sections with loot. This one, I think, doesn't either. What is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's a good opportunity to try and actually get some shulker shells. Finally, I got one. No idea why that turned out to be so hard. That's Elytra number three. And Shulker Shell number two. And a chest with two pretty nice swords. Good job I now have a place to put them in the ender chest. There's also a massive end city ahead. That has so many chests in it. That's an epic one. So I shall continue on this fantastic looting spree. What an insane chest plate. Finally, still touch. Let's go. I can begin collecting up these. I'm now well stocked up. I have an end gateway. I don't know why I just got the advancement now and why I didn't get it before. <laughs> pretty sure I already went through one over there. It's nice to be able to go back to home sweet home. Since I broke the last bed I slept in, I'm back at spawn. Things are looking very different now that I'm taller. I spent days stuck in a tree, that's quite funny, but now I am just going to keep growing bigger and bigger and I really need to try and find a brand new bed. Thankfully, I know exactly where there's a village. It might be an uninhabited one, but a village is a village, mainly because it does still have beds in it. Once I get to day 50, I will then be my normal size. And once I'm massive, getting netherite is going to be really hard. So my goal will be to get it before it's too late. But to do such a thing will probably require a lot of TNT or a lot of strip mining. And before I work out how I'm going to get that, I'm going to continue upgrading my items. Straight away, sharpness four, let's go. And an efficiency four, silk touch and breaking three axe. I was hoping this village might have a grindstone, but I don't think they do. Thankfully, it's not hard to get stone. Turn it into slabs and craft a grindstone. Oh, after all that, there was one here. I came back to look for... Oh my goodness, how can I just not stop finding diamonds? As I was saying, I came here to look for a bed and... Um... <laughs> I certainly found one. And there was a grindstone here all along. I can max out my chest plate. I can max out the silk touch pickaxe. And I realized, I remembered something, that if you place, like, blocks so that you get lower levels, you have a higher chance of getting feather four. Look at that, a level 21... And I got Feather Falling 4. And that's all my lapis gone now, so I'm gonna start combining stuff. So that and I have pretty good tools and pretty good armor. And I've run out of levels, so I'll have to continue all of this another time. Now, I'm kind of curious to see just how fast I could theoretically make a mob farm that gets me gunpowder. I've got this oceany area right by spawn, which is perfect. And it's gonna require quite a lot of blocks. And now that I have an efficiency 5 pickaxe, they are best obtained in the form of netherrack. I reckon all those are probably gonna be enough. And I will also need redstone. Redstone is something that I earlier threw away. Hey, look at that. I can grab more lapis. Someone's been found. For now, I'm just going to grab the ore and fly back out of here. That's plenty of you, plenty of lapis, and also plenty of quartz. I've just been to sleep, and I've, I've just realized I'm too big to get through the door. Oh, no. It's happening. 
I'm getting too large. Okay, I've got to act fast. Otherwise, it will be impossible for me to get netherite. And with that, I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need bar one thing, which just so happens to be string. Thankfully, there's plenty of it in this village, which is very, very convenient indeed. I'll build a portal here with a trench connected to it, then water flowing to that portal. Then right here, I've got a three by three hole with it going out eight on each side. Certainly looking like I know what I'm doing. Water around the edge will be absolutely critical. With the bottom done, I'm now going to make a start on the spawning platform. I'm now at the point where I'm going to craft a load of observers, but to do that, well, it requires quite a lot of cobblestone. It's really annoying me how tall I am. Look at me, I'm already nearly three blocks tall. I'm growing fast. Really got my growth spurt, did now, ladies and gentlemen? I'm about to get it even more because I'm about to go to sleep. Oh man, I feel massive. This is, this is getting out of hand. Right, hurry, I need to build this. Observers, check. Dispensers. Check. Plenty of buckets to be filled with water. Also check. Let's get this built. Well, I've already run into an issue. Managed to run out of netherrack very, very quickly. I definitely did not expect it to be that fast. Not to worry though, the area around this portal needs mining up anyway. All netheracks obtained, so I'll just keep going. Well, that's every layer successfully done. But to finish the job, I am going to need a load of repeaters and comparators, which is kind of annoying because I'm starting to get a little bit too big to go caving. As you can see, I, I can't fit through the gaps. Oh man, I'm nearly as big as a tree. This is crazy. And somewhere I have to try and find an opening big enough for me to go down and looks like this is, <laughs> is not it this cave on the other hand does look like it might be a bit more promising if i could just get down here come on give me the good stuff give me the redstone and, and don't let me drown. I need to make it to one of these. Maybe I should just be trading with villagers for redstone. That that could be a safer option. But on the positive side, I have come to some sort of cave. But it doesn't look like it's one that contains redstone. I knew I should have got more when I went caving earlier. It's, it's coming back to haunt me now. Aha! Managed to find some up at this high level. That's very, very useful. How many from that in total? 33. Although, unfortunately, to finish the project, I will need 42. Deep slate coal. That's super rare. I'm, I'm keeping that. Aha! A cave. This is going to solve all my problems. And the handy thing about being really tall is I can easily reach up here. In fact, let's use fortune on it so we, we properly get it. I'll grab these bits down here and then it's definitely enough. I can also go to sleep. Dangerous, I know, because now I am even bigger. I also don't have the space in inventory. Um, I, I hope I can still get out of this place. And due to my increase in size, I've got an extra heart, which is very nice. Diamonds. I, I don't want to say no, but I have to. Creepers. They are very, very useful. Since I do need the gunpowder for more rockets. Speaking of rocketing, how am I actually going to make it out of it? Like this, I suppose. Oh, I missed the hole. I don't even know if I still fit through that hole. Let's just see. Okay, well, I, I guess that, that, that answers my question. <laughs> now to swim up and out. Okay, I can still seem to fit through all the gaps I could before, which is a pretty big relief. Now to craft up those repeaters, then it can all be added along here. And it'll create a nice little clock, just the speed it needs to be. Well, it will be once I add the delay anyway. And then I've got the tricky task of trying to put water into each dispenser. It's not actually going to be that bad because... I can try and fly in. Okay, it could be difficult. I tell you what, I'll dig down maybe and then... Yeah, this is the, this is the way. All I know is one way or another. I'm, I'm going to make this work. And there we go. With that, the farm is kind of complete. But I do also need to grab absolutely loads of wood, which is super easy because I'm so tall. Then I'll turn them to slabs to create a massive roof that will make it so that mobs spawn much, much faster. That should be good enough. Now for a little section in the nether, which will require a bit more obsidian. I reckon 40 should definitely be enough. I can just about swim through this portal. I look so massive. But yeah, I need to remove this portal and then place new ones down so that they all connect up correctly. Preferably before I get too big. It's, it's getting harder and harder to fit in spaces. You know what, guys? I'm trying to link things up, but I'm, I'm just too big. And ideally for this, I've been building on the nether roof, but I'm I'm too big to go up there as well. So it's time to just slightly change my plan. Firstly, remove the portal. Then the water will flow. Uh, oh, you can't really see. But it'll flow to here. And then I need to add something inside there. Which will be campfires. I need nine campfires. My goodness, I'm massive. The tables are really turned on, they little pig. Yeah, that's right. So nine of them can be crafted. As well as a few hoppers. Then they go here. Mobs are coming through. Fantastic. Let's block them in. No, you're not meant to come this far. Good thing you can't swim and you're just going to fall down. Next, I'll stick a chest here. Followed by a hopper, another chest, and then loads of hoppers going into there. I'll also try not to drown, that's probably a good idea. Perfect, my system is complete. And to make it fully functional, I need an AFK platform really high up. This is good enough, I just feel like an oversized person. But anyway, we're going to make it spawn proof with slabs. And it's a large platform because I am very large as well, and I'm only going to get bigger. Flicking this will turn it on so you can see... Water should start dispensing, pushing all the mobs along. Perfect. And the campfires at the bottom will do the rest. I've run it for a couple of days. This night is just about to end. And I want to go and see the results. It sounds good. There's a lot of action. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. All that gunpowder 
And that's, that's pretty much all I need of it. So I'll grab it all, empty out the rest because I don't really see a use for it. And run it for a couple more days. That should be long enough. Let's have a little see. Yeah, fantastic. The only issue now is I don't really have enough space for it all. Although after clearing some room, I now do. A bunch of them are getting turned into firework rockets because they're just going to be very, very useful. And the one thing I'm now missing is sand. It really is a very, very strange way to play Minecraft. Beautiful. Lots and lots of beautiful TNT. Oh my goodness, you fly so fast with an elytra. It's insane, but anyway, it's, it's kind of irrelevant too. Right now, I have got to try and make a portal that is going to be big enough for me to get through. I'm pretty sure if I crouch, yeah, I can just about squeeze in. But coming through the other side, I am actually stuck in the portal. That's just fantastic. I've got to mine my way out to break free. So the idea was I'd find ancient debris before I got too big. How I'm going to manage this now, I have absolutely no idea. Especially when I've got to somehow find a way to get past lava. All right, this is about the level that you can find ancient debris. So I'm going to attempt to dig the world's tallest strip mine and then lace it with lots and lots of TNT. Please find me some ancient debris because this has taken me so, so much effort to do. It did, in fact, that is quite a bit. All right, the chain might have broke, but that is not a massive issue. Slow and steady. Beautiful. There's at least two here, and hopefully a few more along the way. Or maybe not, but I have, ladies and gentlemen, come up with a new plan. So that I don't have to dig a tunnel that is quite so big, I'm thinking, what if I, like, fly and, and, and do, like, a, like, the crawling? And then the size of the tunnel that I need to dig is much, much smaller, because I can, I can just about fit in here. I'll have to mine it all as quick as I can, because I am getting big fast, but this is certainly going to make me do much more progress. My goodness, I almost let this pickaxe break. I wasn't paying attention, okay? I have got this other pickaxe, which will allow me to get XP back. However, it's, it's just not quite as fast as the other one. I reckon this is going to be long enough. Let's see how plan B works out. Well, for a start, I've still got a good 30 TNT remaining, which is nice. So I've blown it up. Let's have a look. Oh, don't get angry at me, guys. Come on. It was an accident. You can't even be blasting TNT without upsetting someone nowadays. But on the positive, ancient debris number four, which means I've officially got one piece of netherite. That, that is actually insane how much work that's taken. But I'm confident that one way or another, I can get a full set of armor. The hardest part is getting past the lava. I've got to wait for it to disappear. See, otherwise if a little bit touches, then I'm in quite a bit of trouble. Now to continue the tunnel a little bit further, and then I can get down the last of the TNT. Come on. I want at least three pieces, then I've got two lots of netherite armor, and already we've got one. That's fantastic. So let's just keep it going. Perfect. Another two pieces. I think, is, is it just two, or is there a third? Just two, but that is all I needed to get eight, which is <laughs> very, very good progress. Now, I can imagine getting up and out of here is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Oh, yeah. Well, especially when there's lava above you. So going back down my original tunnel... It's probably going to be the best way. Well, I've made it back. Now, can I get up and out of here? Yeah, I reckon I can. One way or another, it's it's got to be doable. Now, I need a portal that's big enough for me to go back through. I mean, oh, uh, yeah, I think that's that's probably an, a, a good size. So, I'll light it and, yeah, just about get through. And look at it. It's absolutely pouring it down. Let me get out of it. Oh, my goodness. It is, this is actually insane. What I'd like to know is how on earth am I going to fit in that tiny little bed? It's a, a bit small for me, but... Only one way to find out. Okay, apparently too far away. I, I, do I have to go down to a lower level? The smart option must be to bring the bed up to me. Nope, still too far. Wait, can I not sleep anymore? This would be sad. Come on, game, please. Just just let me sleep. I, I, I'm, in, I'm in perfect. I don't know how I did it, but I'm glad I did. So I'll make myself a blackstone furnace. I, I think this should change the texture for it. That'd be cool. Maybe, maybe not. Then set the ancient debris smelting. I'm also going to need quite a bit of gold, which we have. And I can make the smithing table. And actually, until I can put these two together, which requires 31 levels of an anvil, I can't turn my chest plate to netherite. Anyway, let's get these crafted. For example, my pickaxe, which is maxed, that can be netherited. Oh, it's not maxed. It's only efficiency four. Oh, well, let's not split any hairs. My main goal goal now is to get more XP. And as much as I hate to say it, the best place for that is probably gonna be the nether. And before I leave, I better improve this pickaxe because at the moment it, it's just way too slow. So I can get through this portal, yeah, by kind of swimming in. <laughs> then I'm gonna dig a bit of a tunnel to a more open area and collect XP as I go. All right, things are really opening up now. Oh, well, not quite. Let me just get this this last little bit. Now they're really opening up, and I can really start collecting quads. It's a long time since I was that small, and I've used slabs to get up, isn't it? So far up to 20 levels, just 11 more to go. My goodness, you can bridge so fast when you're massive, can't you? Which, in my opinion, is very handy indeed. I'm not quite there, but I think I need to start heading back, otherwise... I'm going to get stuck here, which will be a very, very bad thing indeed. My goodness, I didn't realise I could reach so high. Look look how far away it is, and I, uh, yeah. 
I can reach it, no problem. The 31 levels have been obtained. Now let's quickly get out of here. I think I can just still fit through this gap, but it's it's a bit of a nightmare. Through the board Lego to the world where I have much, much more elbow room. I've also been thinking about how it's hard for me to reach the bed because it's far away, but I'm thinking if, I, if I'm in swimming animation, I can always reach. So that is how I will be able to continue to still sleep. Now to put these together, make the chest plate netherite, and have a cool item which I'm, I'm probably never going to use because it'll be Electra that I wear most of the time. Now since I'm in a situation where I'm pretty much too big to fit into anything, I'm gonna build myself a house. A house large enough for for me to be able to live in. Now, realistically, there's going to be two things about this house. First, it has to be future-proof, all right? I'm going to get way, way bigger, and I still need to be able to fit in it. And second of all, that basically means it's going to be absolutely massive. With 30 days of growing left, I reckon that's a reasonable size for the door. Now, to make sure that it is definitely wide enough, that's good to me. Now, I'm just going to make sure I build this other part of the frame in the correct spot. Perfect. Now to jump into the water so that I can actually sleep. And since I need to continue wood chopping, I'm going to make a hole so that I can more easily get rid of the leaves and get to the logs. Nearly four stacks of wood should be enough because I just want to thicken up these door frames. Otherwise, they'd probably look a little bit strange. I feel like I've had to destroy an entire forest. Well, maybe there's a lot of trees left, never mind. But anyway, the door frame is complete. And from here on out, I'm going to start using planks so that uh, the resources go a little bit further. And hey, I've had an idea. I could put windows in it, which would use glass. But in order to get lots of glass, I'm going to need lots of sand. So the plan is to start smelting it now so that I don't have to worry about getting it later. So the most annoying thing about being giant is mobs can just see from so far away. Look at that. Look at that trident throw. Why are you trying to hit me? And the spiders, they just come from miles away. It's, it's an absolute pain. Thank goodness I can be safe in the water. What a mess it's made in my house. It's just trident all over it. I don't know who you think you are. That is the front completely done. Well, I think it's completely done anyway. It's, it's got an interesting look about it, hasn't it? My next priority is to definitely turn these into glass panes and begin filling it all in. That's window number one complete. And oh my goodness. You guys, this is perfect. It's perfect because it means I can do a raid as an absolutely massive player, which I think would be very exciting. I've just got to get rid of you, you little short, short guy, okay? No problem. And let me get rid of the rest of you as well. Then I just need a bit more coal to finish smelting the sand into glass. So I'm looking for a bit of a cave. I mean, this is a good ravine, but can I can I actually get down there? Or am I too big? And is it going to be painful? I, I guess we'll just, there's only one way to find out, isn't it? Okay, I see some good stuff. Can I grab that coal? I, I, I did, got it. Okay, perfect. Now let's um, turn it into actual stuff. And there's more through it. My goodness, it's a tight squeeze, isn't it? But whilst I'm in a mine shaft, it's actually a great opportunity to get loads and loads of logs. 27 more pieces. That's got to be enough. Now to try and get out of it. I just about made it. And smelt the rest of this. And then into the water to try... Oh, I, need, I need deeper water. I need to be able to swim nice and low to get to sleep. Now I'll fill in all of that remaining glass. Mission accomplished. A very interesting design for the front of my house. <laughs> because this has to be so big, it's, it's kind of hard to make it look good. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. I have got a battle ahead of me. A battle which is going to involve this unsuspecting village. All right, guys, don't panic. But I ain't Gollum. You, you've got your work cut out here. I'm also going to put my chest plate on. I said I'd never use it, that maxed out chest plate. Well, now I am. All I can say, Raiders, is wherever you are, Bring it on. Well, the first wave was just pretty easy. That's right, you hide in the house. That At least one villager's gonna survive. I'm also getting low on food. Do you think they'll give me a bit of time to make more? Maybe maybe after this next wave. The golem's doing his work as well. This is all working fantastically. So now it is time to craft more bread. And oh my goodness, look at the, look how tiny that Ravager is. He really thinks he can defeat me. Is that all you got? Okay, well, actually, they do a little bit of damage. But seriously, you're so small, you can't even reach me. It's like fighting against ants up there. I've never had such an interesting battle. There we go, Ravager defeated, no problem. Don't think you can hide under the tree. Now, I just need to go and find some water. I can hopefully get some sleep. Sorry about that, Raiders. I was only temporarily out of the area. Let's, uh, let's continue the raid. Don't know why you guys are even attempting it. It must be a pretty terrified experience for you all. Poor Gollum, now poisoned. Don't know much we can do about that. Where's the other ones at? Never mind, the wave was finished. And I don't know how this house is still standing with me stood on it. All right, Ravagers, you think you can ride on him and, he, and he's gonna be safer for you? I think again. Oh, there's a focus in here as well. Perfect. Although that means there's going to be vexes, which is, yeah, is not such a good thing. Can I reach it from miles away? That's it. There's no escape. I've got my first totem. Let's get it equipped just in case and continue battling the raiders. This to me does look like another pretty straightforward wave. Only thing causing trouble is once again the evokers. And there they are. The double ravager one. Okay, this is where things are going to be interesting. Although apparently my bow is one shot him. I don't know how. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. Why is my bow? Why have I got so much strength? Is it because I'm so big? Why does it work like this with uh, my sword? My sword doesn't, but my bow... 
is very powerful. I guess it's because I'm so far away and so so tall that maybe the arrows move faster. Or maybe it's just because the arrows are massive. I mean, look at the size of them. If anyone was hit by that arrow, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't stand a chance. But that is perfect for this raid. I should probably eat up and then try and work out where the final guy is. Oh, there you are. Just summoning vexes non-stop, eh? Well, you won't anymore. And I've done it. I've completed the raid. Perfect. Oh, leave me alone. But yes, you're all welcome. You're all welcome. The giant hero has uh, saved the day. Now I'm getting out of here. It is great to have all these spare totems. But I'm at a point where I'm getting so big that I wonder how I would hold up against other bosses. Like, how, how would it be against the dragon? I've done it when it was kind of too small. But could I defeat it as this massive, uh, this massive penguin? Suppose all I need to do to find the answer is just get the gas tier so I can make the end crystals to bring the ender dragon back. But unfortunately, that does mean <laughs> going back to the nether. And going back to the nether means I'm gonna need a lot more obsidian. I reckon the 61 that I've just got should be enough. Am I able to squeeze through that portal? I get the feeling that the answer is no. By my calculations, it just needs to be one block wider. So I'll break all this. And for this new portal, I think I'm gonna be able to get in, but we'll see. Yes, I am. And I might end up suffocating if I'm not careful. This uh, this, this could be bad. Let's, uh, let's just break a lot, and I mean a lot of blocks. Okay, managed to break the portal. That's a good first step. There we go. I'm out. Okay, I can see. I'm no longer suffocating. That's that's good. Okay, let's eat this quickly. Grab a new totem, and and now I, I think I think I'm okay. I don't think the mobs can reach get, get to me. I, I think I'm good. Oh, no, he's there. The piglin's back. Okay, get out of it. Leave me alone. I'm in a very stuck position. Get out of it. I knew there was piglins around here somewhere. I just didn't know where. Top 10 stupid ideas by SP737. Number one, going to the nether as a giant. There goes another totem. Stupid lava. But at the very least, at least I've managed to get into crawling mode down here. And I've just broke my pickaxe. Okay, not so good. Top 10 stupidest things I've ever done. Yeah, coming to the net. My goodness, this is, this is becoming a disaster. All right, Gas, where are you? Because I'm in desperate need of finding you. You know what? I know when to accept defeat. I'm, I'm going home. There's no way I get out of here. The nether and being a giant just, just don't go very well together. I'm hoping this portal will light. Yep, it will. And it's just about big enough for me. Of course, it's put me in some sort of a cave again. That's not good. I'm, I'm going to end up using a totem if I'm not careful. I'm out. Okay, okay I, I did it. There we go. That's, that's all I need to do was apparently break that bit of obsidian and I, I was okay. I definitely could have been messy. I used my, uh, well, my second to last totems on there. Pretty much, uh, well, used two up on that. Okay, lost the energy. How the heck am I going to get out of it? It looks things the only way out of this mess is to just keep digging my way up. I'm almost there. I can see the surface. I will never, ever be going through a portal again. And now to find an ocean deep enough so that I can go for a swim. Ah, uh, this one looks good. And since I am limited to this dimension, it can't be forgotten just how fast I can travel around. And I reckon I'd use that to my advantage. As I said before, that entire nether thing basically used up every single one of my totems bar the one that I've got in my hand. So wouldn't it be cool if I could find a woodland mansion? Such a thing is only possible with the likes of you. And he wants to be given quite a lot of paper. Well, more than what I have right now. So we're going on a bit of a sugarcane hunting spree, which should be pretty quick when you're this big. Actually, it's insanely fast. I can literally just move along the river so, so quickly. What's that? Sugarcane on the other side I need to get to? Don't worry, just jump across the river. It's amazing. There you go, Mr. Villager. All of the paper that you could ever dream of. What's that? Now you want glass panes? Oh, don't you worry about that, because I've got plenty of those in this chest here. Or at least I will do <laughs> once I craft them. Now, 10 emeralds and a compass will get me the Woodland Explorer map, which is fine because I have more iron inside these furnaces. And somewhere I've got redstone, yep, in the ender chest, I just need one to craft the compass, trade it to the villager, and continue on my adventure. Going to the map, it's somewhere in this northwest direction, so that's where I'm heading. And I might as well fly so that I go even faster. You know, I don't want to be waiting forever to get there, and it looks like it's a long, long way away. I had issues with a little bit of lag, so it meant that the map didn't update properly until I, I went way past where it needs to be. So I think if I just go in this direction, I win a woodland mansion. I reckon we're not far off. And when I say we're in a woodland mansion, I mean we're in a dark oak forest where a woodland mansion would be. So we're not far off. And it's coming into view. Yes, okay, perfect. This has to be terrifying, doesn't it? It has to be. Just to see that at your window. Sure, how can you guys not be scared? They must be terrified. They haven't seen me yet, have they? All right, fellas, prepare for an unexpected attack. That's right. No, the, oh, oh dear. Okay, okay. These Vex is coming everywhere. Obviously, um, they're, they're ready now. Oh, they're all coming to the window. Oh, dear. Attacking those guys is going to be tougher than I thought. So I'm just going to temporarily sleep on it. Then at least I won't have other mobs spawning in the darkness. And that is an idea. Fire. Lava. Heading for the Woodland Mansion. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with me just assisting it a little bit. Yeah, that's right, guys. Use some of your vexes and I destroy your entire home. I'm sure this next bit won't take too long. Why is there so many vexes, by the way? Why you guys just keep summoning them? It's, it's, it's not good. I can at least get rid of those down there. But yeah, look at them. Tell you what, vexes are like my Achilles. Look at them all just pouring out the window. 
Guys, it won't work, but you might get in the water, which might be good for you. Indeed, they will. These guys are survivors. And someone else has just broke. <gasps> Whoa, what's going on? Run for your life, SB737. Okay. Uh, wait, are my leggings broken? No, are you kidding me? Not to worry, though. I, I, I do have a spare pair here. And what have I done? It's just spreading. You know what? I'm just going to sit and... <laughs> Enjoy what, uh, well, just enjoy the view. The fires have died down. Now then, where are these evokers that are causing me the problems? Hopefully they're, they're burned. I kind of have to stay out of the way. All right, there's, there's definitely vindicators down there. And there's chests. Chests with dark oak saplings. I don't think that's very good. If I break a few blocks, I can actually get in, which would be nice. Also, I've, I've got a guy down there. There's one over there. I'm just starting to come out of the woodwork now. Looks like all the evokers died. Well, that was a waste of time. You know, I'm starting to realize that being tall isn't... Isn't that great? And it's actually easier to be small than it is to be tall. I'm about 8,000 blocks from my, um, well, part of my house, should we say. <laughs> Although, oh, can I go in here? It's a cave big enough for me. Whoa, what a bad idea that is. I'm leaving. Instead, I think I'll just steadily make the journey back. Room portal on the way. I'm not going to bother with the gold blocks. Take a look at all the glistering melons that look nice. I'll take a golden apple. Don't mind if I do. Here we are, home sweet home. And I'd love to build a bit more of the house so that it, it looks like a house rather than just a wall. But doing that's going to require quite a bit more wood. And wood's annoying to get because the leaves are in the way, so I kind of have to mine the leaves to get to log. But I've, I've got an idea. But if I first AFK up here, I'm also struggling to land on it through flying, which is why I've, uh, I've towered up. Because the extra gunpowder down there will become useful. I'm optimistic that that's going to be enough time. Okay, can I even get to the chest down here? I never thought about that. Yeah. I can't look at that. We just kind of go around and then um, <laughs> let's just grab it. So yeah, I don't need a crazy amount of gunpowder. That should. What's going on up there? Anyway, yeah, that should be a good amount. I should, I should just probably go to sleep. How do they see me from so far away? Is it because I'm that massive? Look at them. They're like, they're like going to follow me to the end of the earth. But anyway, I shall now go to this. Look at the size of that egg, by the way. I'm going to go to this chest, which I know has sand. And it's not got enough sand, I don't think. Because I want to make quite a bit of TNT. Oh, no, it has got enough, actually. It's, it, yeah, perfect. That's good. So, yeah, I've got these 27 TNT. Also grab the rest of this iron because I do need to make a new flint and steel. Now, do I have fortune three? I do. So, if I break one, it's a count. What the heck has just happened here? A giant chicken. What? Is that because I hatched it from a giant egg? You are massive. Look at this. Don't be afraid. Wow, I've got a giant pet chicken. This is brilliant. If only I knew that massive eggs make massive chickens. That's insanely cool. Look at him. Oh, that's awesome. Don't be intimidated, guys. Yeah, you might be the small ones. Wow. <laughs> that is brilliant. I'm completely distracted at this point. What was I doing? I was making flint and steel. So yeah, from there, my idea is to just drop a little bit of TNT and blow it up. And then doing, doing that, you know, sporadically throughout the forest will hopefully get me wood a little bit easier than what it is at the moment. We'll see though. You know, I actually have to be able to pick up the items as well, which which could be an issue, but I think I think I'm collecting them up. Or at the very least, I hope I am. Well there's definitely an increase going on, so that's good. I'll just I'll just use this TNT as much as I can. And whilst I've been messing about with this, I've I've made a grave mistake. Don't be angry at me, B. I'm sorry, he's got his angry eyes on. Don't be like this, alright? I'm just getting wood. But yeah, my grave mistake is I have completely run out of food. Extremely careless, I know. Don't you worry though. There's there's animals everywhere. I've got this sword, and I'm going to get them. Because you know in Minecraft, well, food, it's uh, it's pretty crucial. And I have to say, fire aspects when you're collecting food like this, it's just so nice. Because it just, it means you don't have to cook it. I've got looting on it as well, which means I get quite a bit. These pigs must wonder what's going on. A giant uh, going after them. But it's, it's, it's a great way to get food. And with that sorted, I can return to blowing up the forest. Final piece of TNT has been blown up. I've got over five stacks, nearly six stacks of logs. I've completely lost all sense of direction. <laughs> Where is my house again? Somewhere in this direction, I think. So anyway, I'll craft what I need and let's hope this works. I'm not going to bother with any other, any other anything else other than just oak planks for everything <laughs> just to try and get it done. Oh, fantastic as well. I can actually reach from all the way up here to the bottom, which is perfect. All right, I take it back. I can't quite reach all the way to the bottom, just pretty close. I reckon this size is definitely gonna be big enough. The main issue is, am I actually gonna have enough wood? I'm gonna turn it all into planks and see how far I get. Yeah, this, this needs a ridiculous amount of wood. That's as far as I got. Are you kidding me? I suppose this is technically an abandoned village, so you know what? I'm stealing all the wood. Not like these guys are gonna have any use for it, are they? I also need to stop spawning giant baby chickens and terrifying everyone, don't I? But it is fun, which is why I do it every time I get an egg. There's a lot less wood in that village now. I managed to get an extra two and a bit stacks, and I'll use it to continue these walls. Well, it's certainly getting there, you know, one wall. Okay, <laughs> looks like I, uh, I missed a little bit. I'll fix it later, but yeah, as I said, it's certainly getting there. I think I'm also going to ransack the wood from this village. I've ransacked a couple more villages. I'm, I'm getting absolutely ridiculously big now. I can, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of wood from it, though. These these crop bits are fantastic for it. Because look how easy it is 
to mine up the wood. So having a village that has them everywhere has been very, very useful. Here's the other village I terrorized just, to, just on my way back. And I've almost got to 20 hearts, which is going to be the max, which is pretty cool. I think on day 100, that's what I'll have. Let me fill in this gap and tower my way up so I can continue the towering of these great walls. I tell you what, guys, this is pretty positive. I am not far away from getting a fully completed wall at all. And I've, I've got a good six or seven stacks left. I bet I am not going to be far away from it. Also, it looks like it is starting to rain. It's also nighttime though, which is handy because that means I can go into the deep depths of the ocean and sleep. Also patch up these little gaps that I uh, must have left by mistake when, when building it all up. So yeah, I'll, I'll get this done. The roof is going to be maybe a... Oh, this is a bit, a bit dodgy. But yeah, the roof is probably going to be a bit more of a challenge since it'll probably take a million more planks, but I'll, <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. All my wood has gone. I, I reckon I'm just going to go and find more villages. They, they seem... Oh, there's four more here. Which means I can get to the top of that and I can do a little bit there. But yeah, terrorizing the villages are just, just, the, just the easiest way to get logs. There's no leaves in the way like there is with the trees, so I, I definitely prefer it. It's just sad for the villagers that I have to do that to them, and it's sad for me that they're quite, you know, tricky to find. Is this the one I've already been to? Yeah, I've already done that one. Come on, there has to be more around here somewhere. The fact that I can cover the terrain extremely quickly does make this much, much easier. Although not easy enough, it would seem. There's no villages anywhere. And since I can't really afford to wait any longer, I'll just have to go back to doing what I was doing before, which is to craft a hoe, then remove all the leaves and mine wood that way. What's going on? Why are you attacking me? Don't do this, Wolf. We could have been friends. Each to their own if he doesn't like me. I ain't gonna get into a battle with him. I'm not exactly sure how much wood I need, but I'm gonna guess that two stacks of logs is, is definitely gonna be enough. So that's the amount that I'm gonna aim for anyway. Come on, the sun is starting to go down and I am not going over time, I'm telling you now, come on. And I have a really cool idea of what I wanna do at the end, so I, I've gotta really hurry up because I'm not entirely sure where the thing I wanna do at the end is at. So finding it might be a challenge. Anyway, I've got over two stacks now. Let's grab those. Let's run in this direction. I'm gonna have to stay up through the night, which is always annoying because all the mobs are gonna attack me. But anyway, Operation Build My House is in full flow and nearly done. And I just realized something. I've got all of tomorrow. Why am I rushing? Why am I panicking? I can go to sleep. I thought I was on day 100. I'm only on day 99. <laughs> I've got plenty of time. So this is it. This is my maximum size. This is as big as I'm gonna get. And is my house big enough for me? Oh, look at that. Just, just, this is why I made it so much bigger. My house is just big enough for me. Better get these walls done. And doing the walls is something I don't think will take me too long. There we go. It's a shame there's not going to be a roof, but I seriously don't think I have time for that. All right. Oh, I accidentally placed quite a few blanks there too. Like, I probably need five or six stacks just to do the roof, but I like it. You know what? It's it's cool. Like, it'd be cool with a floor and everything and, and a bed and a chest and giant, giant things, but... To build giant things, you need a giant amount of resources. But anyway, I've got one more thing I want to do. It's a pretty ugly looking house from the front anyway. So that's that's why I'm going to find something else. And can you think what that something else might be, okay? It, it's it's not in the snow area. I, I must have walked over it a few times. It's somewhere around these coordinates. In fact, is it down here? Could it be? If it is going to be, man, it's going to take a lot of digging. But surely, tell me you're still alive. Yes, my horse. I told you I'd come back and I did not break my promise. It's just going to take quite a bit of time to dig you out of it. Well, to dig me into there, should I say. Unless I've got I've got an idea. It might not work, but it's, it's definitely worth trying. I'm going to steal one of the few remaining hay bales the farmers have and go back to where the horse resides and try and learn that. Come on. You know you see it. You know you want a hay bale, don't you? I don't know if horses actually follow hay bales. I've just checked the wiki and apparently they do. Why are you ignoring me then, horse? Do you not like me or something? I know I left you here for like 10 hours or something, however long it's been, but I, I, I've come back now. Probably don't recognize me, I'm that big. Anyway, <laughs> I'll keep trying. All right, mission accomplished. I think I'm in. Now, what happens? Will it kill the horse? I'm on. I'm on. Can, we, can we move? Come on, horse. Don't be so slow. <laughs> Is it, don't take me in lava. What are you doing? You're trying to get me killed in there? What? You're a useless horse, dude. My goodness. So this is this is your trick, is it? How did we actually get in and out of here? <laughs> this is so weird. We're okay, though. Right, I'm just going to cool off in the water quickly. Yes! I have the most, the world's strongest horse, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure I'd really be glad that I came back from it at this point. Probably only been left in the hole. But it has to be said, what a fitting end. That, ladies and gentlemen, was 100 days, but you grow every single day. Also, please subscribe so that I don't break the horse's back.